Now, at the best of times, trading is frustrating. Even when everything seems to be going well, there will always be that one little thing that goes a little bit wrong. So this is currently what my MetaTrader 4 looks like. So we're about £50 up at the moment. Right, we've got GBPAUD. These are the entries. That's GBPAUD is again. GBPCHF. We're just going to get patient and see what's what, see what happens. Um, yeah, let's just see. Hopefully, we're going to get some more push in. It is only currently 20 past 7 in the morning, so um, potentially maybe not get much movement now, but we should be getting some movement because it's just London's just opened. A lot of traders are just getting on to trade. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I didn't get the sniper list of entries on GBP AUD, but that's no worries. We still got a really good entry and it's still running in nice profits at the moment. And the clip you just saw was my account at 7am, £200 nearly in the green. Profits were flying in, but oh, how quickly that can change. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the trade that lost nearly half of my account. I'm going to be going through the trade, why I entered, why I decided to exit, and not only that, I'm also going to be changing up the strategy moving forward. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Are you guys subscribed? Have you liked? Because your boy is going to be dropping loads of value for this entire series. So make sure you're subscribing, make sure you're liking the video, make sure you're commenting all your thoughts down in the comment section below because it does help me out and it does help the channel out. And if you are going to keep this content coming, you will do that. Right, so this is the GBP AUD trade that I actually took a loss on and later on in the video, like fast forward a little bit later, I will actually put up the screenshot of what my balance is at now. So, this was the big heavy hitter loss that we took that caused us to lose over half of our account. So, this was the trade, right? We've got GBP AUD. Now, I'm going to use the replay tool here because it was around about here, which is where we got confirmation okay so what we've done if we go on to a higher time frame like the daily time frame what we can see is we've got a beautiful resistance zone here okay we're trending downwards now taking sales a beautiful resistance zone it makes perfect sense so what we're going to be doing now is because there's been a bit more volume and a bit more liquidity in the markets what we're going to be doing is we're going to be patient and we're going to wait for added confluence okay so this is where we're going to scroll down to the four hour and the one hour and then of course the 15 minutes so at the moment on the four hour we've got no confirmations there's nothing saying that we're rejecting so we have a rejection and initially but we haven't seen anything like a pin bar or a doji or anything like that which is something that i want to see before i would enter into the trade so we're going to drop down to the one hour and this is where we start to see sort of like the dojis and stuff okay this is where we start to see the rejection candles now what we're going to be doing is to, we're going to be looking further and we're going to be going on to the 15 minute time frame so we're going to be going to the 15 minute time frame and i'm going to show you exactly where i decided to get on now i don't actually i can't remember where i put that zone let me just actually there we go right so what we're doing is we're waiting for confluence now so we're going to play the replay and we're going to be waiting so we're not waiting yet still no confluence we started falling okay now we're starting to really fall but we're still waiting we're still being patient we're still looking for added confluence on the 15 minute time frame we know we want to sell at resistance however we have to wait for the right confluence now this is it this is it here, okay? So, as you can see, what we've got here is we've got a little double top on the 15-minute time frame, okay? We've got a beautiful rejection off of that zone on the 15-minute. The candlesticks are also very, very small, indicating exhaustion. So, they've tried to push up, and the candlesticks are very small, indicating that they can't really push up anymore. We've got a rejection. We've, in fact, got two rejection confluences. This is where we've decided to get in. Now, we actually added two positions of 0.25 lots, which equated to probably our entire account if it was to hit our stop loss. So, we wanted to have our stop loss somewhere over here. If, like, the worst happened to the worst, like, this is where we wanted to stop, okay? However, we didn't want it to go down there, but we've accepted the risk. So, what do we see? Now, had it actually hit our stop loss, which was just a little bit higher than this, we would have probably been out of an account right now. But we closed early because we saw the price had started pushing up even more. So let's play the replay again. 
and show you what happens, okay? So we get some really nice rejection here. We're now running in nice profits, okay? So it started off well. We've gone straight into profits. We've got another rejection. And this was where we decided to get out on this candle here. Because as you can see, instead of continuing on lower, we've decided to push higher and back into that zone. Now, if I got the sniper entry up in here, I would have held on to the trade. But we didn't. We got down here after waiting for our confluences. So what's happened okay is it's now pushed up into resistance and it looks like we're pushing quite heavy and after touching into there this time and the second time i feel like if it's going to push up in there again the zone is going to break so what we did is we cleared off of that trade and this is what happened next we started really pushing up in a second so we got some nice rejection you could have maybe entered here again but then we pushed up again and now look that's the candle that would have taken us out so if we just pause it here OK, if we're just looking at this candle, this candle here would have taken out our stop loss and we would have probably blown our account. So it was a very good thing that we decided to actually keep the trade deleted rather than re-enter or hope that the market's going to come our way. And as it did, as it happens, the market did come our way eventually. And this was the confidence that I was actually going to take when getting in. This was actually the candlestick here. So I could have put a short position here right on this. So basically, we've got like essentially a double top bullish engulfing, okay, so or a tweeze the top, whatever you want to call it. So we've got two tops like that. We could have had our stop losses nice and tight if we decided to use one. And it would have gave us almost a one to four risk to reward ratio. And had we taken that trade and played it, we would have been running nicely in profits. And as you can see, this is now the live market. We had a really bullish or bearish push down. We had another bearish push down. And by the looks of things, looking at this one hour candle, we've pushed up, but we are getting a lot of rejection towards the downside. This, however, is hindsight, okay? I've taken a couple of losses on this trade. I don't want to overtrade. And what I'm showing you here is very good mental resilience. I'm showing you very good psychology because I could have quite easily entered into this trade, risked a half my account again, and although it had worked out, it might not have worked out, okay? So this was good resilience and this was good psychology on my behalf, and this is definitely something that you guys can take away and use in your own personal trading. Now, I also want to stress that when I'm doing these account flips, because I've taken a big loss, it does not mean I'm a bad trader. For two reasons. Because losses happen in trading, okay? They will happen. It doesn't matter if you're Gandhi or Jesus, okay? Losing trades will happen. And the second thing is I'm doing an account flip. I'm trying to get this account from $200 all of the way up to $10,000. So to do that in any sort of reasonable time, I need to risk a lot on the account. So at any given trade, I might be risking half of the account. And that's why when I took this loss, it was such a big loss. So what's my plan moving forward? Well, my plan moving forward is to just lower the risk ever so slightly and use a bit more risk management. And you're only going to see the highlight reel, so I'm not going to show you all the boring bits because I'm going to have to build this account a little bit more to take more risk, okay? So you're not going to see that bit. You're not going to see me build the account back up slightly. You will see some clips here and there, and you will see like take profits and all of that being here, but you won't see really the boring stuff. And then I'll start to risk more, but using risk management more because there's no point trying to do this challenge and then use on, on episode two, say I've blown the account. Because I don't want to blow the account because there is a lot of value to be taken from these episodes. So what I'm going to be doing is lowering the risk ever so slightly and using and emphasizing my risk management a tiny bit more just so I don't blow the account and I can build it up again and again. So this time, we won't take a loss as heavy.